Uh-oh. Watch out now. When he's not blue tubing, he's he's crossovering. Is this on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I'm out here with Leroy Green, 85, playing some basketball, shooting some hoops, and we're in some ghetto ass court because they got a shank over here. Look at that shank down there. Yep, pretty much. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, got it in? <laughs> got it in, got it in. And we're gonna play some horse. And actually, we're playing horse already. Uh, what do you got? I'm like an AR or something like that. Yeah, man. Well, I got an H, right? Yeah. Let's do it then. All right. Come on. Oh. Obama. There it is, baby. Oh, you, gotta so you gotta so be kidding. So pretty. You gotta be kidding. All right, Resi Snipe. Uh, we, you know, we're missing all the good banter right here. Yeah, so then, we were just talking about yeah. white man can't jump in the yeah. Blu-ray, yeah. and the, uh, the Canadian releases, and the... Yeah, what you white call? man can't jump. Yeah. <laughs> Le, Le Jump. I don't know what jump is in front. So. Le Jumpy. I don't know. Uh, what shot are we going? Uh, shots. Uh, we pretty much done the whole repertoire of uh, shots before we... Yeah, you know, I think we were hitting everything before the camera started rolling. And well... Hook. I'm determined to hit the shot. Baby hook. Ah, all right. You know I'm gonna do the behind the back thing again. Hopefully it'll it'll turn out good this time. Oh, it's already recording. Oh, it's already recording. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. You got it. I got it. All right. I'm going for the blind again. Blind. Blind swordsman. Blind. Man, that box set, set looks. Yeah, how much is it? Like three hundred dollars or something? Oh shit! It's expensive though, right? I think the retail value is like two thirty, but I think if you pre-order now, it's like two hundred, one eighty something. It's gonna be ridiculous so though. Hoping, like, it comes out, it's a nice when set. It, when it's like half off of being Barnes and Noble, maybe I might be interested. I didn't realize there was that many movies. They're getting like just about all the movies. It's like twenty-seven movies, twenty-six, yeah. twenty-seven movies. I think I might only see one. Oh my god. Air! <laughs> Air Bud! Air Bud! Air Bud part 10. How many Air Buds you can do? <laughs> a lot of dogs are around. <laughs> That's right, you have a dog. Yeah, well, my dog's little. I used to have a big German Shepherd Rottweiler mix, yes. but now we got a Chihuahua. Big difference. That's a big difference. Yeah, big change right there. Ah. Why Howard got nothing on it? Wanna take it again? Sure. And A nice high arc too. Go ahead. Nope. That went in. Alright, for the game. <laughs> for the game right here. Horse. <laughs> ah. Victory! <laughs> you, uh, I mean, like real bowling, I'm competitive, but real bowling, I'm so bad, I get pissed off. I'm like, ah, it's simply mini golf too. Oh no, I, you, I haven't mini played mini golf in like I don't know, ten years. All right. Okay. All right, wait, one more, one more. One more. All right, got it. Beautiful. Those dudes just seriously just broke off a giant ass stick, giant ass branch right there, walking down the road with it. What the hell is that? Did I ever show you the thing with my neighbors when they put this big branch on their garage yeah, door right yeah, next yeah, yeah, to me? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what they're gonna go do. Put that giant branch right there. What the happened about that? Like I don't know. Poltergeist I think they. Guys and shit. Poltergeist guys the remake. Pretty sure they just uh, sacrificed the goat right there. So. <laughs> Nice, there you go. Larry Johnson. <laughs> LJ was the man. See, this would be hot if they had some lighting here. Yeah, they took out all the lighting in all the parks, like everywhere. They uh, took out all the lights I and they figure, did I the double figure. rims now because they didn't want I, kids I, hanging on the rims. They didn't I, want people yeah. staying out. That's why I figured, I figured out why. Yeah, they, they think, you know, all kinds of hoodlums are going to come here, deal drugs. Really, though, I feel like if they're going to do that, being, you know, no lights is probably better for them. <laughs> Nice. 
your turn to embarrass yourself. Yeah, all right. Uh oh, watch out now. When he's not blue tubing, he's he's crossovering. Come on. All right. No, that's why he's uh about like 25 minutes away, I'd say. Sheesh. There and what is. about Walmart? Probably, you know what? The closest thing is Kmart now. <laughs> Do they have like 5.99 blues? Yeah, but they're like like crappy titles. Right, oh, well, I gotta get one more, one more. Like Air Bud goes to Mars or something. I had the good angle and everything, you, you know. There we go. All right. And now he's retired for like until next summer. All right, let's go hit up Kmart. <laughs> All right. All right, here with Leroy Green 85. We got some awesome pickups right here from Taco Bell. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can show this. Yeah, but, what is that actually? Uh, it's a chicken cantina burrito. It's awesome. like you know the commercial with the like hot. Oh yeah, that, la that chef. Cantina chef. Yeah, yeah. And she's like and she's like stabbing somebody. She's, and she's like got the, the knife waving around. Bow. Yeah. yeah. So it's like basically whatever's Her in that special bowl. Thing. It's in, in a this. burrito. Yeah, I think of Chipotle. I'm no, I don't know if people I know here by. I've Chipotle. never even been to Chipotle. I got to There's one like there's a Dude, two level me. one in uh You're killing me small. And Brazil, I love that Sandlot. <laughs> love Sandlot. You kidding me small. You never heard of Chipotle? I've no, I know I've heard of it. I've never been to it though. There's one like right down there. It's like a Chipotle. Way. It's like a Chipotle bowl and a burrito. There you go. All right. So this, I to me personally, this, this is probably like their best burrito. I All guess because right. of, of the quality of the ingredients. Oh, you gotta try the. Did you try the smothered burrito? No, that's uh -huh. where I guess you come. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, show them, show them the pimpin' shirt too. Oh yes, yes. yes the yes. drive shirt. Yes, yes. This is from Ripped Apparel. I mean, to me, that looks like a Kira a little bit. That design a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess. But there's also a Marty McFly shirt I got. Oh, nice. But yeah, Drive. I similar. love Drive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a modern cult movie. Yeah, but like Ryan Gosling seems to be like living off like that silent. Yeah, yeah. He does that same kind of role. Yeah. Like, he went from like. Romantic comedies to like being to like, like the tough guy, the good. yeah brooding tough guy. Good. Yeah. Good. Those kind of those things that kind of lulls you into a false sense of security. It's like he's all quiet, and then all of a sudden like violence, people getting their heads cracked uh, I open. Don't know. I'm not saying like Beyond the Pines, place Beyond the Pines is like. Oh, have you seen it yet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause well, like, from, I got caught up in like the. Uh, well, I told you how I felt about like, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just uh, the first, but the Ryan Gosling part I loved. But then after that, I just didn't, the third act was just like, eh. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't know. I'm not seeing the second act. I don't know. I've seen like it was like, it was, it was like each like, level. The first one started I, here, act, and then it went down there, it's and a little, then it's a little like long. Like it's just maybe like yeah. they could have cut off a little bit. I, I think they could have trimmed the film. Oh yeah, it more. felt like three movies compressed into one. Right. And this, I think, like they kind of, I don't know, try to put everything together in the third act. I yeah. Know, I wasn't. I mean, I, I, I like the movie, but it just, I, I felt did. like it could have been better. But the way it was so high, because I guess oh, yeah, like, people it was, loving I think, it. I think I people got because, super big bonus I for that movie. I think it got high because it came during the best upgrade and save that time. Uh, so people can like, oh yeah. I Mud spend. is what people should have been checking out. You know, it's funny. I have it, but I haven't seen it yet. So don't don't kill me yet. Oh, you know what? All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> let me show my fiery. But uh, speaking of mud, actually, I actually bought that at the upgrade and save. And then I ended up uh, writing Lionsgate and I got a review copy. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that soon. I actually filmed the video already uh, for it, but I just haven't posted it because I'm a well, slacker. You'll get onto it, slacker. Yeah. All right, here's my uh, fiery Dorito. Put this over here. Got that nice. Look at that. Get that. Oh yeah. Limited so why edition. Is it, why is it? Why is it fire? It's because of the taco shell. It's uh, they have the different. They have the three different Dorito shell ones. They have like Cool Ranch. Oh, when the nacho. guy goes, the guy goes Cool Ranch. Yeah, and this one's the the fiery one. Got it. Which is I've had this before. It's Does banging. it break though? Like it you gotta be like gentle. You gotta be. You gotta do with love. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's what she said. Okay. All right, and <laughs> sloppy. Well, uh, that's what the burritos are. They're sloppy. It's good, man. It's like a fiery kick in your face. In your face, huh? In your face. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, love that fist looked pretty three D to me. I don't know. It's not too spicy, uh -huh. but it's got a kick to it. Okay. Um, so if you're like real sensitive, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you like a little bit of kick, it's got just enough, but it's not like super over so, the top. So like, well, what, what's what's inside there? Like, uh, you got the beef, you got the cheese, Pretend you got some I lettuce, don't. tomato. Pretend there's I supposed don't to be some. Oh, there's sour creams all the way on the other end. Okay. So they just made it on the other side. It's pooping out the other end right there. Right. Well, and, uh, that's a natural. But I, I think it's the shell that really sells it. It's the flavor. Got it. The flavor for your and face. It, and then it doesn't cost that much, right? No, it's a dollar eighty-nine. 
Oh, and, nice. uh, I love it. The, the shell has just got so much flavor to it. I mean, I definitely, for me, 9 out of 10. Easy. 9 out of 10. 9 huh? out of 10. Love the heck out of this fire wow. meat Dorito taco. Hear that Taco Bell? Love it, he man. Loves it. Love it. Unofficial food review right here. Nice. <laughs> And we're going to go hit up Kmart after this and oh, see what boy. kind of crappy Blu-rays they have there. They're over, yo, they're overpriced like heck. They've got like $30 Blu-rays there still. Oh, yeah? All of those bars and nobles was bad. Yeah, well, Kmart is one of those, it's like one of the only stores where they never have sales. Right, you know, right. So I, just, I just don't think they get the license to do that probably. But every, I mean, how can every other place have it? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Because, to Walmart part, well, it. you know... They don't do as well. I don't know. You would think like they would work on promotions, but maybe yeah. that's but that's not their that's not their niche anymore. You know, Should they're they're Should Kmart. Be. I guess is get more, on top of that Kmart. Maybe Kmart is more like you know, why don't they own by Sears? Yeah. So Sears doesn't really give a you know what. So because when you go to Kmart now, they have like the the do your do yourself section that was never there years ago. Big ass raccoon trying to get over to Taco Bell. Unfortunately, my camera stinks. It's all fuzzy. I think it's looking right at us. Oh, it turned back. There it is. It's thinking about it. It's going for that burrito. Mother burrito. <laughs> I think it's one thing. The big K. There it is right there. It's going to be awful. I just know it. <laughs> there, there you go. Right there for you. That's up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just couldn't wait for that. Two ninety nine. Oh, human centipede. Five bucks actually isn't a bad deal. I might actually get I don't that. Oh man, I don't think I can have stomach to watch that. It's not bad. The second one was the bad, the one that was bad. I don't know. Man. This one actually isn't bad. Is that a it's that Teresa's? Weird cover for it. See, see, I know you get excited. Ah, I got a Blu-ray. I didn't think I was actually gonna find anything here. Oh, wow, he's getting something. <laughs> That's like a generic like dialogue. Yeah. I actually have this set though, but I didn't. I actually paid five bucks. I feel like I feel such a loser now. Of course, they have Nicolas Cage movies up in here. Stolen. I've never even heard of it. I think I got the got that looks like a blockbuster. Like, that looks like a, a Photoshop. Yeah, CG. I think if there's something. Intruders is all right. Five bucks for it. It's not bad. Well, it goes two ninety nine and up. So like yeah, it's a scam. Everything's like five bucks or. Oh, it's basically five bucks. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have this, I still haven't sat down and watched it yet, on Blue. Godzilla. A movie that I liked a lot. You ever see that, Joyride? Oh yeah, I heard it's coming on Blu-ray soon. Yeah, that's why I'm going to hold off. Do you know when, or? I think no, they have one. No, no, like like within the next month or two. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely hold off on out. that. For sure. I used to have a crush on this chick, too. Lily something. Oh, Sobieski. Whatever happened to her? She like She's on drugs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Home man. Alone. Oh, you oh, know what? Man. They're having a. I love this movie, man. Me too. They're having a like multi pack. I already had this on Blu ray, though, for a horror, these horror ones that are real inexpensive. I think Walmart has them. Is Walmart like the exclusives. I guess that's pretty popular. Two ninety nine. I'm Someone tempted to get like that. Four bucks. Wow, you really, <laughs> you really came here for a purpose. You keep buying. Yeah. Well, I mean, if there's something, something good, I don't. It's the only place ever where they have five dollar titles in these little protective. Cases like that, like somebody's gonna steal them. Of course. <laughs> nice. It's funny. But I think it's crazy though, they have all these, all the Blu rays up in this case if you like, locked in here. Well, we definitely like 10. It's not, it's not a mill. John pack. Wayne. <laughs> it's just 10 book. It's a 10 book. So. Uh, all right there, partner. Hitchcock. But you then get all the DVDs on here, like a huge roll well, that's of a DVDs. Few a couple ones mixed in here. DVD, DVD, DVD. One Blu ray. Thirty dollars for bullet to the head. This was a great movie, though. Yeah, I got a, I got an upgrade. Say five bucks. Oh really? Oh, yeah. I missed out on that. I need to get that. You know what? You know what needs to be on Blu-ray though? That's out of love. Print. Prometheus. For uh, that's a Woody, uh, Woody Allen film on Matchpoint. It's out, it's out of print. Oh really? On Amazon's like they're selling like oh, sixty bucks. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they've got a Blu-ray that's loose. $27.99. Holy moly. For Hansel and Gretel? What do you think of Prometheus? Um, personally, 
Not for you? You didn't dig it? I don't know. I'll have to be watching again. I think a lot of people were expecting like aliens. They were expecting like, you know, the xenomorphs jumping around and... Pretty much. But uh, this is cool. No, but I just felt like they had to throw an alien. I think the movie could have been a different movie. It didn't have to like... It was its own universe speed. though. I mean, I, it had no, so much going on. The force speed, like putting alien into it, like especially uh, the ending and... I loved it. You did? I love it. Great atmosphere. Don't One of the better sci-fi movies that I've seen. In okay. a couple of years. I'm not, that saying, moon. No, I'm not saying it's not it's not well made. It's really Scott, the guy the guy knows how to make well made films. Love that movie. I just too. feel like an Indiana Turk. Turk. I might come <laughs> you're back. Gonna, I might you're prompt me to minutes. get this. Two ninety nine for this four pack <laughs> actually isn't bad. Curtains is the only reason I would think about getting this, but I'm not sure if it's getting a standalone release. Because curtains was a, I love that. We have a bootleg DVD for it. It's an old school eighty slasher. Really? I liked it. I love it actually. And Hope Book and Hollow was was okay. But I have the DVD still for that. Curtain is one of those 80 slots. Those other ones look awful. Or but like yeah, curtains. Like, like in the vein of like a Friday the 13th or? Uh, no, it's a bit, uh, from what I remember, it's a bunch of actresses go to this house and uh, for to do some kind of audition and they start just getting killed off. And there's the, the killer wears this like creepy mask. Okay. Um, but I always remember it being pretty in, enjoyable. Um, but at $2.99, I'm so tempted to get it, but it's a generic little square. That's not what the, the cover usually looked like before either. Like this little doll on the cover, but I don't know if it's gonna get a standalone release. Well, I mean, it's three bucks. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let it go for now just because I'm hoping it'll get a standalone I'll tell release. You, man, it's gonna be gone by tomorrow. This is actually a pretty good uh, pack right here. Phantasm. Funhouse is awesome. Serpent of the Rainbow is awesome. Phantasm is awesome. Is that that one? Uh, oh, look at that. How can you know it? The Funhouse? Love the Funhouse. I did see Serpent but they have the Rainbow. The... That was pretty freaky. Out yeah. Out. I wonder Ooh, if that's yeah. gonna get a Blu ray. Strip in the rainbow. I but I know uh, Funhouse got a Blu-ray release. Fantastic closet here. <laughs> Little did Jay know, I closet. was trying to... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I don't think I even showed are, that yet. My pockets are big. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I showed that yet. Go ahead and show that out. Okay. Dutch. Well, this is a uh, forgotten Dude, man, I love the heck out of that movie. Know, and that kid changed his name, uh, changed his last name. Oh, yeah? When he grew up. He was the guy, he was in uh, Can't Hardly, or Can't Hardly Wait, right? Was that the guy? That's him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But that's when he was a little kid. Wow, he, he, he looks totally goofy. Yeah. In this. And then, yeah, of course, the. Man, I eco, love it. I think it was like Thanksgiving, right? It was Thanksgiving. This, yeah. But I mean, yeah, that so was a great. Oh, because he was such a little jerk, the kid. And the spine. Yeah. There you go. Every <laughs> angle, every I angle. I'm trying to, like. There's my. <laughs> I, I got to take out those other criterions eventually. You show the other stacks there so I can put them. I know. Because those, those two know, stacks like, right there go all the way to the ground. Preparing, but, uh, all criterions. But, but Jay had to start filming. <laughs> Well, go ahead and show your, your yeah, we're, we're up in here, we, we just went to play basketball, we went to Taco Bell, I dropped the camera in my uh, my burrito, actually, Dude, and then we went to uh, Kmart, and we did this, my friend, this is out of print. Yes, yes, I, I, gotta, I gotta show him, I gotta uh, show him. Of course, him. he had to outdo me, I mean, this, this is BS. <laughs> I gotta show my, uh, and I, I had to give him like, my left arm for <laughs> my, this. Uh, my digipack edition right here. Nice. Of, of uh, Chung King Express. Chung King Express. Nice. But I got a booklet though, at least. Oh, I got a booklet too. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> booklet. It's the same booklet, right? Uh, I would imagine. Yep, so. Same booklet. Yeah. But yeah, is that, is that a DVD or Blu-ray? No, it's Blu-ray. It's Blue Rizzle. He had to just undo it. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm the on now. Well, let me put this down for a second. Put this. But yeah, that's ridiculously hard to find the digi pack. But it's, that one's out of print too for it goes for Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that was over hundred dollars. I got an oh, yeah. Amazon seller was selling it for like fifty five. Jeez. And I was just like, okay, money. No, I, I, I should just get it. Money in the bank. Yeah, I gave my left arm. It grew back. Don't <laughs> worry. It grew back. It grew back. This is another hard one to get. Yeah. It's just for collector's purposes. I, I know there's a better version from Dragon Dynasty, but yeah, it, this one is a Criterion. It's hard to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people that wants to get like every Criterion. And it has like the audio commentary. Now, I want to get John that. Woo. Dude. Go ahead, yeah. John Woo commentary. I got, I got, I got, I Does got the Blu-ray have the... The Dragon Dynasty one have the commentary? Not by John Woo, though. It'll okay, be like right. one. But, but this, as you can tell, the actual Criterion, not a bootleg. Zoom in, bootleg. not a bootleg. Not a bootleg. <laughs> I'd be crying right now if it was. But this, I was really happy to. Now, how would you pay for that, though? This one? Hard boil. Oh, hard boil. Okay. Yeah. Right, here's the thing. That goes for ridiculous here's too. Here's the thing. There's a guy on eBay who's selling used for thirty, and I was like, okay, I, I can, I can do that. I don't know. No. He offered. He was offering for like thirty-five or thirty-seven, and then you know you make your offer. I think I offered him yeah, like yeah. thirty, and he took it. So. All right. So, and I was shocked. It was actually every now and then, like you can find things at yard sales, flea markets, uh, Craigslist. Two people don't really know about the Criterion. But this one, I was excited. Yeah, man. I want to get. I got that on Amazon. You know, you know what Amazon. The They'll have like sellers? the merchant sellers. Yeah, I yeah. think they were selling this for like 
like 10 or oh, that's a good deal used yeah you can't like i got a lot of my uh old school criterion dvds used that's really I mean, the only way to go I for mean, them. the case is like you know yeah you can you can pretty much use as a weapon but like, <laughs> not that i'm going thick through. show them that spine look at that fat oh, spine yeah. well <laughs> i mean i will usually say it another way but you know we gotta keep this pg here yeah Oh, this one's Straw Dogs. Cool. Right, right, right. They right. remade that recently. Did you see the remake? No. I didn't see the remake uh, either. There's so many horror remakes. I mean, I'll be here till 2040 trying yeah. to catch up. But uh, this is cool. This comes with a booklet, too. That's nice. Uh, you want to sell that, you know, hit me up. Did that come out blue right <laughs> now? <Did laughs> no, they... no, no, it didn't. Um, uh, are you sure? No, I not, they... not that Criterion. Okay. No, no. This For is some a Criterion edition. Yeah, they're releasing so one, many ones that were like... It's probably a little expensive. This was like about 17 Oh, wow. I know, I know. This is Beyond Cheese, <laughs> Super Trooper Cheese. I, I like you can't. I can't but, get mad. It's on Criterion, but, but it's one it's of those criteria. ones where I'm like, it should be on Criterion. I know. Criteria. I don't know what was going on at the time with Michael Bay between this. Yeah, and The Rock. I have The Rock here, somewhere. But like, The Rock is out of print now too on Criterion, Ooh, right? Of course. Yeah. This is not Connor. on Blu-ray. Yeah. This, Jay, this is not on Blu-ray. It's not. No, not not. Yeah. No, no. It's on Blu-ray, but not Criterion. Gotcha, gotcha. Then I would have. I would have. Grab that up for that, but uh, but yeah, I may figure just for collector's purposes. I would never get these films outside of that if it wasn't quite believing. I think they're fun, like the rock's fun. Yeah, it's all right. It's a action. Not rock the actor, I mean, rock the movie. Dwayne and Johnson, Dwayne Johnson's he's great. awesome. He's awesome. Sorry, I wasn't trying. I'm not having Don't you dare to speak badly about the rock. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, oh, I see Chasing Amy up in there. I, uh, yes, yes. Chasing I, Amy was one of those movies when I first watched it, I hated it. But then I watched it like recently, yeah, and I love Netflix it now. Yeah, it's on Netflix now, streaming. A lot, now it's, a lot, a lot of those Max oh, oh, movies are there. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I hold knew up, it. Right. Is he going to outdo me again? Hold up. I have it. Does where, he where have, it? like, maybe it's in one of your stacks over oh, there. man, I have it signed. I don't know. This has a couple special features. But this is already on Blu-ray, not from Criterion, but from, like, Miramax. So, oh. but just for collector's purposes, like I said. And it was, it was dirt cheap. I got this for, like, six bucks. All right, I had to go find this. I, could, I went like crazy because I couldn't find this. I know I have it, and it was signed. And I know I usually have these ones, the signed ones, out. But I had to like dig this through my closet this, real this quick. Oh my god! I think I pretty much had a breakdown when I couldn't find this. But I was so happy to get this signed by Joy Lord Adams, and she actually wrote finger cuffs, which I didn't think she would actually do that. But super cool that she was that she would do that. And did you want to have the comic book in here? Because I heard it's um, hard to find the one with the comic book in there. Oh, I don't think so for six bucks. I don't oh, so. you can't beat the price. No, dude, no. I, I don't right. get the insert. That's probably why it was so cheap. Yeah, you can't beat the price, though. There's another one I got that was a criterion that's out of print. Is um, Science of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that one. That's one of, I, I, one of the I, earlier ones. It's like Spine 13. Yeah. Commentary by the director, Jodie Foster, blah, 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 blah. And blah, blah, blah. What about you? What do you uh, think of the, the, oh my God. the old boy uh, uh, remake? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you think about the remake, though? Um, Spike Lee. I do like Spike Lee. It's why I gotta have his twist in there. But just by the trailer, I can tell, like, it's not gonna follow. Like, it follows certain things. Yeah, some of the scenes... But if you notice, I don't know, like, did they kidnap the daughter in this one? So I don't know if they're gonna have, like, that kind of sick twist. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna... I don't know. I think he's gonna do something different. I, I think he's gonna try to... I think there's a lot of scenes that look a lot of, like, similar. But I, nothing but... will ever take away from my first viewing of it. And I was just like... I want to get the 10. There's like a Best Buy exclusive 10 for the Visions trilogy, but it's like ridiculous amount. Uh, no, but when I'm just thinking of like that, that first shock. Don't you? Different. There's like so many movies that you could wish you could go back and just like watch again for the first time yeah, for that shock value. That shock, definitely for old boy. That's yeah. for sure. I just, I, there's so many movies I feel like just that doesn't need to be remade, but all right. Oh, old boy? I mean, for me personally. Well, today I was just on Best Buy and of course, no luck. Like I was trying to get that clearance on uh, Dark Knight Rises. Steel Book? Steel Book. Of course, like you never give it one. But I have five dollar reward zone, and I was never gonna pay eight dollars for this. So, love the heck out of that movie. Oh no, no, it's great. But like for it looks three great. Bucks, I think it looks. I great. pulled out the money. I usually pay everything with like a debit card, but I actually gave the lady three, whatever, three twenty, whatever it costs. So, it looks great on Blu-ray. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Right. Sounds great. Looks great. I mean. So I heard it's working on sequels, but like Will Smith's. Not really? Yeah, I heard and something the, the about that too. Was, the quote was, "He's gonna cost too much." You know, I like Will Smith as an actor, but everything oh, I hear hell about him, no. Oh, I love him as an actor. <laughs> but everything I hear about him is so negative. Like, all the people that work with him don't really like him. Why? Like, I heard because he's kind of like a diva. Really? was well, Will Smith. Yeah. Well, these are like Twilight Time releases. Ah, uh, ballin'. Ballin'. Like this is like $80 Blu-rays. <laughs> Fucking hey. Hell yeah. 
Now this is a, a classic. A lot of people think this is inspired, like Drive. Yeah. I think Nick, the, the plot sort of similar. This is directed by uh, Walter Hill. All right. And he's done. Uh, he's done a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, Warriors. Uh, Love the heck of Warriors. So what else is Warriors he come out and play. Yeah, but like Ryan O'Neill, it says, "Shadows give it quick." Uh, he's like a like a getaway driver. Basically, it's kind of like Drive, but it's not like Drive. So I figure like I like stuff that's like old and gritty. So, yeah, old and gritty. But ah, I, those old love. ladies, dried up panties. Well, <laughs> hey, everyone has their preferences. It yeah, spines it up. Mind your business. Yeah. Well, well, I see. You see, you picked up body double too. Which now, hey, listen, I went go Google Gaga for this. Like I said, I like. I was so tempted. I, I had like, it, I, I had like, it in the basket. I'm, I'm an '80s fiend, so like uh, anything, I, I do like that movie. Anything but. for like '80s and like noir and like kind of like a exotic thriller and it's early De Palma. Then I was yeah. in. But for me though, right, here's my thing: thirty-five bucks for this. Please no don't remind me. Special features, isolated score soundtrack. It's I mean, rare, 30, it's thirty-five rare. bucks. I, it's just, I, it breaks my heart that I this. Know, I know, I know, I know. And, and, I just can't spend thirty-five I bucks. I, I didn't want to, but yeah, I had it in the cart and I just couldn't do it, and then it just sold out, and I'm like, all right, whatever. I, I don't know. I, I, but at I, the same time, I see you have it. I'm jealous. I'm like, ah, I wish I would have gotten it. Well, I'm gonna have to put this in my pocket <laughs> just in case Jay tries to. And this one also I got a screenarchives.com. I'm a big Bruce, Bruce Lee fan. Lee, big boss. And this was on sale for like fourteen ninety nine. Nice. So I don't buy a lot of CDs, but this is rare. I mean, anything with Bruce Lee. This is the actual isolated score. So if anyone's ever seen the film, I'm sure you remember some of the themes. So definitely cool. gonna open this up and like download this. And Man, I haven't bought a box. CD in like forever. Soldier, <laughs> how do you get your music? Do iTunes, you no, I, got, oh, okay. I, I do iTunes like crazy. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I get oh, iTunes. I thought maybe you might die. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. I keep it legit. I don't want to risk my stuff. So that's pretty much my uh, out of print. That's a pretty pretty balling stuff right there, honestly. That's a well, balling stuff. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep up with you, my friend. <laughs> that's but balling I, out of control. I, I, I can't. It's my wallet. Balling out of control right there. <laughs> my my wallet is gonna be empty. I'm trying to keep up with you. All right, hold, hold on, hold on. All right, I gotta show the one thing that we actually got at Kmart. Well, I got at Kmart. Okay. One movie that I got at Kmart. Human Centipede, five bucks, Blu-ray. All the rest of their Blu-rays were like thirty bucks. I'm just like screw it. And I, you know, this movie was way overhyped in my opinion, but I do think it has some good atmosphere and tension, and the, the crazy doctor dude makes this movie for me. Like, the first Human Centipede, the only thing um, that's actually, you know, disturbing about the movie is the concept, because nothing else is disturbing about the movie. But Human Centipede 2, Human Centipede 2 is just crazy, disturbing, sick and twisted movie, but this one, it's just all about the idea of it. It doesn't really translate to the actual uh, film itself, but it does have good atmosphere, and I love the crazy, creepy doctor. That's the only thing I got at, at Kmart. Everything I, else is ridiculous. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I get stomach watching that, to be honest with you. All right, hold on. Let me show this real quick, too. I got this, and if you like World War II documentaries, oh, okay. highly recommend what is it called? checking out No Place on Earth right here. This is from Magnolia Home Entertainment. It's basically about, in 2008, a guy who, you know, dives into caves and stuff. He went to this uh, Ukraine... Uh, village area where they had these uh, caves and he went down there and he found all these artifacts and they were from World War II from where uh, U Ukraine was you know being taken over by the Germans and uh, the Jewish people that lived in the this community fled to the caves and lived in the caves for like two years and there was like 30 something of them that lived in this cave and so basically he was trying to find them and there's a few of them that were still alive and he found them and he talked to them and some of them went back to this cave and it was just incredible that you know some of these guys that are 80 90 years old traveled back to this cave where you know they during world war ii they spent two years of their life and you know just barely survived it was wow. crazy sounds and very intense. touching and moving sounds pretty intense. fantastic yeah. if you like the holocaust kind of documentaries oh loved this nice and hold on i got a huge giant ass stack of i knew it <laughs> this guy's always balling talk about me balling out of control this is how we do in jersey represent jersey Right there. Whoa! Fast Where the hell did you get that? Fast stack. All right. First off, hold. Let me let me show you. Want to sit quick. down and do that? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. You're good. Are you sure? Now, okay. first of these, I got uh, these three here from Ruth Ashley. I want. Oh, her, her channel's awesome. Yeah, man. she's awesome. Definitely go check her out. Uh, I won her contest. Was an Amazon gift card of like 25 bucks, and so I scored Freaked on Blu-ray, which is a cheesy, crazy, over-the-top movie. Never heard uh, of it. It has Mr. T right there as the bearded woman. It's well, got Alex I Winter. pity the fool. 
Yeah, Randy Quaid, uh, Brooke Shields, a bunch of people in here. Bobcat Goldwit. It's is, just this, a, is this something you, that you specifically asked for? Or? No, no, no she, she sent me the gift card and I oh, ordered it from Amazon. Oh, nice. And uh, it was just, it's a cheesy, fun movie. It's the first time it's been out on Blu-ray. It doesn't have all the special features of the special edition DVD, but... So maybe you could just make a combo pack. Yeah, but I mean, I wanted to get it on Blu-ray. It's a, it's a cheesy, fun time. Okay. Great cast. Pure, trashy, cheesy entertainment. Uh, and I also got Midnight Movie, which is a cool concept. It's about somebody that comes out of the movie to uh, kill people in the movie theater. And I like things with movie Midnight theater settings. Midnight Movie, okay. Cool concept. And then uh, See No Evil, which they're making a sequel to. Uh, the Soska sisters are going to direct See No Evil 2. And I actually really like this movie. Was I think Kane, Kane Hodder in there? No, not Kane Hodder. Kane the wrestler. Kane Hodder is somebody. Oh, who, <laughs> from Jason. Yeah, Kane Hodder, fantastic actor in his own right, stunts and stuff. But Kane, uh, the WWE star, did a great job in here as the, the creepy uh, killer right here. Interesting. And I had picked that up. So those are the three that I got from Ruth Ashley. Nice, from nice. And if you can, please subscribe to her, right? Yeah, do all that good stuff. I did a video already, but definitely more shout out love for Ruth Ashley. Super cool, super nice. And I got the comic pack for, uh, Blu-ray DVD comic pack for the day. What the hell is that? It's a post-apocalyptic movie. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I, I loved it, personally. I thought the last scene in this movie, oh, it was awesome. Okay. But I have a big crush on Shannon Sossaman, who's the, uh, one of the characters in here. She's my she number one Shannon? celebrity crush, Shannon what, Sossaman. What, 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 what does she look like? She's right there. Right there, the dark-haired girl. But she's uh, super hot. Okay, I take your word for her. Super hot. And, uh... Wait, 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 what's her name again? Shannon Sawson. What is she? What else she's done? Uh, she was in uh, Rules of Attraction. She was. Oh, in was she in Night's Tale? Tale? Oh, I, I used dude, to love her, dude. I hated Night's Tale. I walked out in that movie. No, come dude, on. They're playing Queen music from medieval times. That whole. Movie so, what about The Great Gatsby with all the Jay Z stuff? Listen, listen, listen. What's the difference? Jay Z, it's Hova. Oh you man, Hove. bias, dude. Hove, man. Can't, you can't, you can't, you can't <laughs> hate on Queen, dude. It's Hove, baby. <laughs> I love Queen. I love Queen, but I just felt it just felt out of place. I just didn't. Like I used the movie. to love her. I used to have a question. Her. And Forty when, Days or Forty Nights, right? Yeah, Forty Days. I know you love her. Love that. And movie. she was in. She was also in the, series, the Order some... or something like that. That was a with, shitty movie. Uh, with the also, late late Heath Ledger. Yeah. yeah, Heath Ledger, who was also in that uh, Night's Tale one with her. Um, I like Lights, so I don't care. But That's yeah, my rules, guilty pleasure. Rules of Attraction, 40 Days of 40 Night. She was awesome in there. She was recently in a series. I don't know if it was that HBO series. The Day, or... great post-apocalyptic movie. If you like post-apocalyptic movies, definitely check it out. Very washed out look. It's very gray, but I loved it. Gray in the Day. Okay, got it. Julia's, uh, Julia's Eyes, who's uh, Guillermo del Toro Presents. Oh, you know, he's great. He's putting his name on it. It's going to get some more exposure. Seems like it must be really, a UK release. It's huh? a UK release. It's region free, but it's totally creepy and atmospheric. And uh, it's basically about this lady who goes blind, her sister dies, and she's trying to find out who killed her sister. They think it's a suicide, but she's saying it was a homicide, and it was creepy and mm. awesome, and I loved it. And any, then, any recognizable faces, or? Uh, not that I could think of off the top of my head, but it's a, definitely one to check out. I would highly recommend it. All right, fair Great enough. atmosphere. Chained, right here with Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, I love Vincent from Law Order. Yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio is an actor, fantastic, uh, Full Metal Jacket. He's been around for it. He was actually Thor in Adventures in Babysitting. He filmed that movie. That I was think, him? Yeah, he filmed that movie, I think, the same year as Full Metal Jacket. But he's he was, a great he was, actor. He was jacked. Yeah, he's a great actor, and uh, he was great in this. He was totally creepy. He's basically a serial killer, and he takes people in his cab and kidnaps them and chains them up and usually kills them. But uh, So these are like uh, blind buys for you? A lot of these ones are. Some of them aren't. Okay. Slither, definitely awesome. not a blind buy. Well, definitely not a blind buy. Love this. Great sci-fi horror film. Cheesy fun. A lot of recognizable faces in here as well. And uh, this was one that's basically about, you know, alien crashes down these little slugs and they try to take over. And it's awesome and, and entertaining. It, Highly recommend Slither. Any special features on that? or? Uh, I didn't even check the special features. I was just psyched that it came on Blu-ray and, you know, 1080p and all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, it does have a bunch of special features, actually. Nice. Holy crap. Look Holy at that crap. whole box full right there. Holy crap. No isolated score here, baby. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but definitely. I slither. like the isolated score. Pulse, which I thought, you know, it's a remake. It's a oh, remake one of those Japanese. Dimension Extremes. Yeah, it's a Dimension Extreme oh. one. It's a remake, but I actually really enjoyed it. It's fun. It's creepy imagery. Mm -hmm. The Pact, which, holy crap, this blew me away. Totally creepy. Horror movie? Yeah, it's a horror movie. Oh, my gosh. Low budget. One of the better low budget horror movies. This is going to be in my, I'm going to do my top 10, uh, I did already did my top 10 underrated horror movies on Blu-ray. I'm going to do another list, top 20, and this is definitely going to be a list. This is going to have to be jacked up high because this movie well, what's, blew what's me so, away. What's, what's so good about it? Uh, basically, uh, a girl dies and her sister comes and basically they find out that, you know, 
there's I don't want to give too much away. This is what I can't right. talk about too much, but you, you think it's a ghost, but there, it's a ghost story essentially. But there's way more to it, uh -huh. and you find out a lot about the history and about his about her family as well. But it's completely creepy and atmospheric, mm -hmm. and this blew me the heck away. Black Sheep, great horror comedy movie, Killer Sheep. <laughs> oh, you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go there. But it's basically, I, I saw this a long time ago, it's basically, I think you, uh, they were doing some kind of test or something like that, and some of the people, some of the humans turn into, like, sheep or something like that, and it's, oh it's crazy. That sounds pretty over the top. For me. But it's a lot of fun. The Silent Night remake, this was a blind buy for me, and I love the original Silent Night, Deadly Night, mm. and this is a very loose remake. It's basically a newer type of thing, doesn't have a lot of the same stuff going on, uh, but there's a couple scenes where they basically, you know, just copied a lot of the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, like the grandfather scene, and the scene where the girl gets impaled on the antlers, and, mm -hmm. uh, but overall, I thought this was just okay. It's just all about the gore. Yeah. And this one, the sounds, kills. Sounds like it, yeah. And overall, a good cast, though. Malcolm McDowell, a few other recognizable faces in here. Yeah, he's in a lot uh, of Jamie movies. King, a bunch of other people, but overall, it was just all right. Would You Rather, which was decent, was better than I was expecting. Sasha Gray, the porn stars in here, Jeffrey Combs. Uh, who's oh, yeah. a great yeah, how actor. How does she do? She was awful, actually. Would I mean, you rather this, see her? I would her. rather see her do some <laughs> more of her talented uh, work. But uh, basically, it's, these people go there to a table to get money, or to this dinner, to get money for, you know, the one girl, lead actress, her brother's sick and dying, and uh, they have to do different things. Would you rather stab yourself in the face or stab somebody next to you? It's just all about the blood and gore. And the ending, I thought, was kind of predictable, but it was okay. Great okay. score, though. Ah, is there an isolated track score? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Next up is Tortured, which is a blind buy. Uh, Bill Mosley's in here. The twist is what makes this movie. Jesse Metcalf and Erica Christensen, who I used to like. Yeah, a lot. what happened to her? A lot She's of these, doing like, these like, kind of movies now. Oh, That's okay. what happened to her. But Great. basically, somebody uh, there's a serial killer that kills their child. They find him and uh, basically take him in and torture him. And there's a cool twist, and it's the twist that makes the movie. Nice. Outpost, which is uh, Outpost uh, Black Sun, which is the sequel to the Outpost movie. It's Nazi zombies, essentially. And it's pretty decent, but the ending kind of sucked. But besides that, <laughs> pretty that. cool. So they're like Hitler zombies? Yeah, they're, they're Nazi zombies. It's pretty oh, cool. Okay. All right. The freaking memory card was full. So we're back. Bait 3D was a blind buy for me. I thought it was uh, pretty disappointing. The only good thing about it was uh, Julian McMahon, the actor Julian McMahon. He was the only one that did a good job. The rest of the actors pretty much sucked. Pretty generic storyline with the, the sharks. A lot of the CG for the sharks weren't that great. What's up with this like shark craze now? Well, yeah, it's well the shark week is huge. So they did Sharknado, Ghost Shark, Jeez. Bait. Like sharks are huge now. There's not that many great shark movies. I know a lot of people love the movie The Reef. I was disappointed in that one as well. There's not a, a ton of shark movies that I love. Deep Blue Sea is a fun cheesy movie with Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, he dies James within Jane. the first ten minutes. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a fun shark movie. But this one was disappointing. Um, yeah. Two-headed shark was seemed like such a great two-headed shark attack was such a great idea, but it, it was really bad. Carmen Electra, a whole bunch of other people, Hulk Hogan's daughter. You know, it'd be cool. The shark like bit into her fake boob, <laughs> Popped like out. like like in Piranha. You ever saw that movie Piranha? Yeah, Where's I actually uh... like Piranha Double D. I thought that was cheesy fun. Yeah, I don't know. Jersey, <laughs> Jersey Shore Shark Attack was a, was a sci-fi movie too. That was actually kind of fun. That wait, you you you're pulling my leg? Is that a real? No, movie? that's a real movie. <laughs> I thought that a lot of those. I thought it was campy fun. It's cheesy. Oh yeah, the bad. It's about to die. All right, Dark Skies, alien abduction movie was lovely up until the ending. Uh, the ending disappointed me big time. Kind of predictable ending and great atmosphere and creepy scenes in here. But actually, you know what it was? Good. I keep thinking that's like the Dark Knight because it has like that that, that Joker. All right, Warm Bodies. It's essentially Romeo and Juliet zombie style. I'm trying to go through this pretty quick because the battery's about to die. I really like the lead actress in here. She's super hot. I think she's Australian. She can get it. And she can get it's it. It's a fun movie. What's her name? Real quick. Oh, man. There like Teresa can. Randall or something like that. Okay, well, then she can get it. Uh, you're going to make me... Teresa Palmer. I was pretty okay. close. All right. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun movie. It's entertaining. It's Romeo and Juliet zombie style, essentially. So there you go. There's my... All right. I'm not going to question that. I'm questioning that movies, uh, movie, Jay. Five bucks, Kmart, Human Centipede. Had nice. To get it. Blue nice. Nice. But there you go. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you guys think of them as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. <laughs> Peace.